In this video, we are going to look at planting example. Chandler Oil has 5,000 barrels of crude oil 1 and 10,000 barrels of crude oil 2 available. Chandler sells gasoline and heating oil. These products are produced by blending the two crude oils together. Each barrel of crude oil 1 has a quality level of 10 and each barrel of crude oil 2 has a quality level of 5. Gasoline must have an average quality level of at least 8, whereas heating oil must have an average quality level of at least 6. Gasoline sells for $75 per barrel and heating oil sells for $60 per barrel. In addition, if any barrels of the crude oils are left over, they can be sold for $65 and $58 per barrel, respectively. We assume that demand for heating oil and gasoline is unlimited, so that all of Chandra's production can be sold. Chandra wants to maximize its revenue from selling gasoline, heating oil, and any leftover crude oils. Next, let's see how we can model this problem algebraically. Here is how I'm going to define the decision variables. GI is the barrels of crude oil I used in gasoline, I is either 1 or 2, and HI is the barrels of crude oil I used in heating oil, I is either 1 or 2. As a result, G1 plus G2 is the total barrels of gasoline, H1 plus H2 is the total barrels of heating oil. To maximize revenue, we have the following objective function. 75 times the sum of G1 and G2 plus 60 times the sum of H1 and H2 plus 65 times 5000 minus G1 minus H1 plus 50 times 10,000 minus G2 minus H2. The first term, 75 times the sum of G1 plus G2 is the revenue from gasoline. Second term, 60 times the sum of H1 and H2 is the revenue from heating oil. 65 times 5000 minus G1 minus H1 is the revenue from selling the leftover crude oil 1 and 50 times 10,000 minus G2 minus H2 is the revenue from selling leftover crude oil 2. And you may wonder what if 5,000 minus G1 minus H1 is negative? Don't worry about it. Uh, we can take care of that in our constraints. Next, let's look at our constraints. First, let's look at the availability constraint. We have 5,000 barrels crude oil 1 available and 10,000 barrels of crude oil 2 available. And we are going to need G1 plus H1 barrels of crude oil 1, so G1 plus H1 will be less than or equal to 5,000. Similarly, G2 plus H2, that is the total number of barrels we are going to need of crude oil 2, which will be less than or equal to 10,000. Next, let's look at the uh, quality level constraint. We know that on average, quality level of gasoline must be greater than or equal to 8. But what would be the actual quality level of gasoline? It's equal to 10G1 plus 5G2 divided by the sum of G1 and G2. Essentially, the numerator is the total quality level we acquire from crude oil 1 and crude oil 2, and the sum divided by the total number of barrels of gasoline, and we get the average quality level of gasoline, which must be greater than or equal to 8. You see, an inequality like this is pretty hard to formulate in our Excel, so we convert that into a linear format. 
it will be equivalent to the following 10 minus a times g1 plus 5 minus a times g2 or equivalently 2g1 minus 3g2 greater than or equal to 0 a linear constraint like this is much easier to formulate in Excel similarly the average quality level of heating oil will be given by 10h1 plus 5h2 divided by the sum of h1 and h2 which must be greater than or equal to 6 equivalently it is 10 minus 6 times h1 plus 5 minus 6 times h2 which is greater than or equal to 0 or 4h1 minus h2 greater than or equal to 0 in the end don't forget our non-negative constraint next we are going to look at our Excel template and solve this problem for optimal solution with our solver. Alright, let's take a look at our template. Here are some basic information such as value per barrel for crude oil 1 and 2, quality level for crude oil 1 and 2, selling prices for gasoline and heating oil per barrel, and required quality level for gasoline and heating oil and we have 5,000 and 10,000 barrels of crude oil 1 and 2 available respectively and we are going to keep our decision variables in cell B13 to C14 for example B13 will be how many barrels of crude oil 1 we are going to use in making gasoline and C13 will be the number of barrels of crude oil 1 we use in heating oil. So the total number of barrels we are going to use for crude oil 1 will be equal to the sum of those two numbers. Of course, this sum will be less than or equal to its availability, which is 5000. And we can copy and paste the formula for crude oil 2. Next, we're going to get how many barrels of gasoline and heating oil we can produce. For gasoline, it's equal to B13 plus B14. And that's how many barrels of gasoline we're going to get. Similarly, in C15, we have the total number of barrels of heating oil produced. And next, let's calculate the leftover crude oil 1 and 2. That is pretty straightforward. For crude oil 1, the leftover will be equal to availability 5000 minus barrels used, which is in D13. And we can copy and paste the formula for crude oil number 2. Then we're going to deal with the uh, quality constraint. The left hand side of quality constraint for gasoline is 10 minus 8 times G1 plus 5 minus 8 times G2. So it's coming from 10, I'm going to use absolute cell reference, minus. 8 times G1 plus 5 absolute cell reference minus 8 times G2 which must be greater than or equal to 0. You may wonder why I use formulas like this because uh, what if numbers for quality levels are different? So it will be much harder to change the numbers uh, all across the Excel spreadsheet. So we might as well keep all those parameters uh, constants or inputs in the right place. So we just need to refer to their cells. Every time we need to change a number or two, we just need to change the original number without worrying about all the formulas we have keyed in. Return. 
and we're going to copy and paste the formula for heating audio quality level constraint. In the end, let's formulate the total revenue. We have four revenue sources. First one would be the revenue from selling gasoline. Next one will be from selling heating oil. We're going to put those two together by using the function some product. Selling price is in row 8 times the number of barrels sold which is in row 15 and that's the revenue from selling gasoline and heating oil. Next we're going to use some product again to compute the revenue from selling leftover crude oil 1 and 2 value per barrel is in B4 and B5 and leftover is in cell G13 and G14 close the parentheses return we get our total revenue at the beginning we are not going to make any gasoline heating oil that means we are going to sell all the crude oils as a result we get a revenue of $825,000 apparently that's not our optimal solution so let's launch our solver and find the optimal solution okay our objective is in cell B24 that's our revenue we would like to maximize it by changing those four decision variables next let's add constraint Barrels of crude oils used must be less than or equal to available barrels. Add and then quality constraint. Cell B19 and C19 must be greater than or equal to zero. That's all the constraints we've got. Click OK. Make sure unconstrained variables non negative checkbox is indeed checked. Let's select simplex LP method. In this case, we don't have integer constraint, so we can leave the options alone. Let's click solve. And keep our solver solution. In the end, at the optimal solution, we have the following. We actually used all the crude oil 1 and 2, making gasoline and heating oil. 3,000 barrels of crude oil 1 are used for gasoline. 2,000 barrels of crude oil 2 are used for gasoline. As a result, we have a total of 5,000 barrels of gasoline. Similarly, we have 10,000 barrels of heating oil. As a result, there's nothing left for crude oil 1 and 2, and the resulting revenue is $975,000. Both quality level constraints are also met.